Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video that I've promised for quite some while and that's a collection update. Of course I'm not going into every part of my collection, just focusing on the core piece which is my plastic gym collection. Or the basic parts that I need to show you, that's just what I need for every video, which is my BB10 Attack Type Stadium, which I've painted recently, um, added some more details, I think it turned out really good. And I have my two launcher grips. Um, it's basically just the customized grip with grip rubber and metal trigger and then um, the kind of launcher or the type of launcher I need with a long dragon ripcord in two different colors. That just being black with red because it looks cool and that one is orientated. Um, yeah, it's basically King's grip setup. Let's dive right into the boxes. Here is the first one. Basically, um, everything I wanted to have from the original series, which is kind of everything except for Death Drigger. The S series Beyblades, so Dragoon, Drasil, Drigger, and Dronzer, also have the Koro Koro Gaia Dragoon S. Jumping base, um, some more like Refolion and Salamelion, Master and Kit Beyblades. The F series, except for Dronzer F, because that is sitting on my shelf. Some old gen Beyblades, um, some really old ones down here. Um, the Demolition Boys and their upgraded parts. Also, um, White Tiger with Galleon and Galman. Um, and some Beyblades I really love because these were the first Beyblades I've ever played with. That was the Master Dragoon my best friend um, owned, and that was the Seaborg he gave me. Both are still um, intact. This has a metal tip now, but it's not broken. That is really, really cool. So these have a special spot among my old gen collection. Okay, next box. This one used to be my favorite box because um, it has all the Hasbro limited editions in it, which is pretty cool. I do have some H and S in the front row. Dragoon, Gaia, Dragoon, Drusil, an Advanced Guardian, and Einstein, and even C Drake and Dark Effigy MS. Then we have a full set of Hyperblades, so the two colored Hasbro exclusives with um, another one I've added because there's already a Seaborg and Wolborg and Wyborg. Why not? Um, a full set of Metal Masters Beyblades with an additional um, Master Dragoon in silver and a full set of Phantom Force Beyblades at the top and these are the ones that have kind of the best condition. And if you take this off, then here are spare parts. So attack rings, bases, weight discs, bit chips, and spin gear parts and all of that. Engine gear winders. These cool um, Kellogg's um, attack rings and even a few metal fight pieces that I had to store somewhere. Here's the spring support that um, is also included in King's Grip by the way. It's just not very useful so I take it out. That is that. We have this box next. So that's basically all the limited editions, kind of the spares. So a bit of Phantom Force. Um, these are in even better condition as the other ones, but I keep them uh, bottle wrapped, so um, yeah, they stay as good as they are. Um, some hyperblades. Here are some BBA Championship versions like um, the White Wing Defender, Red Master Drasil, um, and the Blue Trigal. 
I do have a green Tripeo, it's not included in this box, and I will get the Red Master Dragoon, and then I almost have all the BBA Championship versions as well. Some spare parts like my custom Uriel 2 tip, I'll that later, and another attack ring, and that is it for this box. Now, these last two boxes are my favorite right now because these took quite a long time to complete them. This is my V-Force box, so all the V and V2 series Beyblades are in here. This includes um, the four main um, protagonist bays and also Gaia Dragoon V. We have a Volborg 3 or Uriel, Gabriel and the Gold Uriel, um, and a Flash Leopard 2, and a custom 3D printed Shark Crash, which is also pretty, pretty cool. I'm very glad that I have this one. Friend printed it um, for me with his 3D printer, and uh, I found some stickers and added them, and it turned out really, really good. Then we have um, the Random Booster 11 um, prize Beyblades, so Manta, Crab, and Orchid Diver. These two have different colors, they are switched around. I wanted to paint them, but I decided to just stay with it because it looks pretty cool anyways. Even though I want the original colors for all the Beyblades, but that is fine. Um, a Metal Dronzer and then the Coro Coro exclusives and two recolors. Um, Flash Leopard, I only have that one in uh, the blue color, which I like a lot. And here are the V2 series Beyblades, so um, an almost uh, mint Dragoon V2 and Drigger V2, it was just battled once, and a mint Dr Seal V2, a Dronzer, Vortex Ape, a cool um, dark Drasil, added some new stickers to make it look a bit fresher. I have a Uriel 2 and I even have a 3D printed Gabriel 2 which I think is really really cool I love this Beyblade, and these two are just very, very nice together. The stickers are not 100% from the anime because there's a better picture of the stickers. However, I designed these stickers um, in reference to the Uriel 2 one to fit the theme a little bit better, and I think they turned out pretty good. And then last but not least, um, Burning Cerberus and Blizzard Ophrys also applied some new stickers to this one so it would look a little bit better. That's this box and last but not least we have the G Revolution box. So these are the G and GT releases which are again the main protagonist base, including the four Saint Beasts, Gaia Dragoon, G, and also Metal Trigger, which is Heroes Beyblade. We have a Rock Bison, Woolbook 4, and then I have these custom Hasbro ones. So I took um, Manta Diver and Orca Diver, and I got some engine gear bases for them because Hasbro released everything with an engine gear, so I thought it would be kind of funny to have them with an engine gear as well. Um, I know that the green one, the metal trigger one, looks a bit off, but um, maybe I'll spray paint it, maybe I'll find an alternative. Then we have my painted Random Booster Volume 10 releases, so Black Galleon, Orange um, Trigal 2, and the Trigator one. So these are all painted, I think, they turned out pretty good. Even have the blue um, wide attack weight disc and they all do have engine gear bases. So that's the one from the anime and I've decided to give those two engine gear bases as well. That's the one that Hasbro used 
I only have one um, Dragoon GT uh, engine gear tip, so that's just a regular one I had to use, but I painted the rest and applied some custom stickers to that release. I think it looks pretty neat. And also Trigator got a custom one, which is basically um, a Dronzer GT bottom, because it's also three-winged with a Drigger G yeah, bottom part, kind of, and an engine gear. Then we have my three painted um, random booster volume 12 prize bay weights. Also got these um, in their non-original color and I've painted them, but I have to say that the paint job was pretty good, actually. Also printed stickers for that Apollon and I think it looks it looks quite okay. Then we have the Random Booster Volume 10, I think. Oh, that was 9, by the way. That's 10. So, I have Hasbro's Rushing Boar. Also applied new stickers. Hasbro's Rapid Eagle G. Also applied new stickers, which look fantastic, in my opinion. Like the original ones. Then a custom 3D printed Pierce Hedgehog. Um, that one is a black print with yellow color, so it's not as <laughs> yeah as neat as it should be. But still like it. I do have a yellow print, but the yellow material is not very sturdy, so um, I rather have the not so pretty one that's. Yeah, that's durable, at least. And then we have the Death Gargoyle that I showed you in my spray paint or airbrush video. This is fully repainted and I think this one turned out the best of them. And yeah. On the right side we have some GT Beyblades, so Dragoon GT and Dronzer GT. I know a lot of people really love them. Um, I like them, but it's not the favorite part of my collection. Sue's Giggers. Maybe I will get um, a Giggers engine gear or Chakara engine gear at some point. That would be neat. And I do have Sue's. That's the Hasbro version, but I customized the engine gear to be free spinning. I've added a little Lego piece at the bottom and then you can just put on a MFB defense tip which even has the same red color as Sue's tip does and it has the same shape, it performs quite the same and it's a good alternative so I won't buy it, the Takara one, it's just too expensive Robber just customized that one I got a an Apollon G, which I'm pretty proud of because this is pretty rare and I've got the individual parts and later on the engine gear and it's just missing the tabs and I got all these um, yeah, blade base parts and I've got it for a pretty pretty good price. Um, a Desert Sinker TT exclusive. Then we have some Hasbro exclusives over here, which is White Gabriel G and Capricorn Strike G. Um, applied some stickers from a Uriel 2. We have a Flame Pegasus and a custom painted Flame Pegasus to represent Thunder Pegasus. Yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this little overview um, of my collection. If you have any better requests, then feel free to just post it in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, guys. Thank you so much for watching and bye.